Imogene. Engineer. California. Corkscrew. Black Bear. Cinnamon. The names of passes that... <coughs> <clears throat> Oh, sorry, the movie guy voice is hard to do, but the names of passes that should be on every adventure rider's bucket list, along with Animus Forks, Uray, Silverton Telluride, and the Million Dollar Highway. I just got back from Colorado's beautiful San Juan Mountains for the second time in my life, and it's been less than a week, and already I want to go back. The routes there are short enough that you can knock out most of them in one day on smaller dual sport bikes with 100 miles of range. Most are easy enough that they can be done by about anybody on a large ADV machine if they don't mind a bumpy ride and a few rocky switchbacks. Now while the passes themselves aren't overly hard for an intermediate rider, you'll want to prepare for extreme conditions with plenty of water and your cold weather gear. It may be sweltering hot in the cities while the tops of the passes are 50 degrees colder with hail or snow. Even in clear conditions, these passes are often very windy and quite cold. For the few summer months these passes are open, there's quite a bit of 4x4 traffic on the more popular trails featured in this video. However, the passes aren't the only gems worth checking out. A good rider might knock out every single pass in one day, but the real gems lie within the lesser traveled basins, which offer out and back scenery and uncluttered views. While you should definitely ride the passes, they are often sagging with 4x4s and side-by-sides and other cool motorcyclists but make sure to get a local map and explore the side routes and basins and lesser known trails. For the sake of this video and for your adventures, I'm leaving out details on the lesser explored areas to keep them just that, lesser explored. But trust me, they're better if you find them on your own and can enjoy them with nobody else around. Ride the passes and you'll get the views, ride the basins and you will get an adventure. So we start with the most popular and highest pass of the bunch, Imogene Pass. You can get to Imogene Pass from Telluride via Tomboy Road, which turns to dirt straight out of town and leads directly up and over Imogene Pass, then drops all the way into Ure. While Telluride to Ure is what many consider to be the easier route, both are doable and the views from both directions are worth two trips going either way. Like all passes, expect plenty of rocks, some gravel and scree, a few baby heads, some steep switchbacks, and narrow roads with cliffs on the side. On motorcycles, a lot more difficult parts can be made much easier by just taking time before difficult areas and switchbacks to pick a good line. Remember that while some embedded rocks may look jagged or steeper, they'll give you much more traction and stability than loose gravel or scree. To access Imogene Pass from Ure, travel south on Main Street and turn off on the first switchback onto the dirt. It's Camp Bird Road. Stay on this road and make sure to follow the signs. Keep left at the fork, otherwise you'll end up in Yankee Boy Basin, which honestly isn't a bad detour at all. Follow the signs and you will make it to your destination. It is a rough but well-traveled road, so you shouldn't have a problem accessing help should you need it as long as you stay on the legal trails. On your way up or back, keep an eye out for this river crossing on the way and make sure to stop just south of the river crossing and access this waterfall of the Imogene Creek.
Next is the Million Dollar Highway from Uray to Silverton. This is a windy paved road with views that cameras just don't do justice to, including the beautiful Red Mountain Pass. However, there are massive deadly drops, plenty of 5-0, and scads of gawking, inattentive drivers, which means it's probably not the best place to conduct an illegal road race or scrub in your knobbies. From the Million Dollar Highway, you can access Black Bear Pass that leads back into Telluride. While the beginning of this route is fairly mild, Black Bear Pass itself shouldn't be taken lightly. It's a 4,000 foot drop over just five miles from the top of the pass into Telluride. Here we go. Apparently this is super, super gnar. This is open to downhill traffic only and a simple tumble to the left on the crux of the trail. A narrow stair step, steep scree covered grade could mean falling to your death in Ingram Falls. However, the views from the switchbacks are incredible and experienced riders should have no problem tackling this pass. Woo! <laughs> Pass is also accessible from the Million Dollar Highway, a little closer to Silverton. This pass road is a nice dirt road nearly in the entire way except for the pass area itself, which has some difficult rocks. If you take Ofer Pass, you can get back to Telluride quite easily on the 145, and if you'd like to experience a great easy dirt ride back to Uray via Ridgeway, take the Last Dollar Road which is just east of the second roundabout out of Telluride, starting on the T60 road, then turn right onto the last dollar road when you see the runway. It's a beautiful road with graded dirt nearly the entire way and gorgeous scenery. It's a much better shortcut than the long paved road. Once you hit pavement again, turn right to get back to Ridgeway and Uray. If you continue to Silverton via the Million Dollar Highway from Uray, you're on your way to Animus Forks, which is pretty much a great hub for the rest of the passes. To get to Animus Forks, take about any road that leads northeast through Silverton and you will get on the two. If you want to experience Stony Pass on the way to Animus Forks, perhaps just for an out and back to check it off the list, take a right off the two onto the four Cunningham Gulch and follow the signs. Whether you out and back Stony Pass or bypass it altogether, follow the two along the Animus River until you reach Animus Forks, a historical ghost town with a rich history and wide open doors, which are kind of creepy. From Animus Forks, it is up to you what you want to do. If you just want to check off the passes, head to Cinnamon Pass, then back to Animus Forks to check out Engineer Pass, then back again. Or you can take the scenic and relatively easy Alpine Loop going over Engineer Pass to Lake City, then around past San Cristobal Lake, through Grizzly Gulch, and back towards Cinnamon Pass, where you'll again descend into Anna's Forks. You can then exit back through Silverton or go through the rocky California Gulch to the majestic California Pass.
From California Pass, you have two options. For most riders, the easier scenic route over Hurricane and Corkscrew Passes will be the better option. It still involves some steep downhills and loose rocks, just like all the previous passes, but it is far easier than the alternative, Poughkeepsie Gulch. If you're very confident in your riding skills, just after descending toward Lake Como from California Pass, ride north past the lake and prepare for a vehicular battle with nature. From this direction, you'll be heading down expert-only trails and run into what many 4x4 enthusiasts simply call the rock obstacle. The rock obstacle itself on the way down via motorcycle is not massively difficult if you just take it slow. I found the trail below the rock obstacle far more taxing as it's a steep descent on nothing but loose scree, baby head rocks, and pain. Once the scree field is conquered though, the way out of Poughkeepsie Gulch is incredible. Cliffside vistas and rolling trails make this one of my favorite destinations. Oh wow! Oh yes! So whether you take the easy route through Corkscrew or take Poughkeepsie, you'll end up back on the Million Dollar Highway fairly close to Uray. So that about wraps things up. I hope this visual guide has helped. This area is so rich with such amazing vistas and trails all over the place. Make sure to grab a map and plan a few structured rides to take in the passes, but then plan a few rides to some of the lesser known basins and you will not regret it. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and for more, click subscribe for new dual sport and adventure motorcycling videos every single weekend. And if you want some more right now, go ahead and click the video in the upper right corner to see more adventures in Colorado. Much love, ladies and gentle tubers, ever ride out.